And now it's time for movie time with Ron Wilson. If you've never seen the director's cut of Blade Runner, then turn this off, go out to your local Best Buy, and purchase this film. Wait, wait, don't do that because then you won't need me to synopsisize it for you. Damn, you already left, didn't you? Crap, well, um, I guess for those of you who are still watching, you've seen it. So let's talk about Blade Runner. It's awesome. For this guy's the greatest director of all time. Except for Robin Hood, or Prometheus, or Kingdom of Heaven, Hannibal, and G.I. Jane. But Black Hawk Down was amazing, and so was Alien. Seriously, you can't expect to win them all. And if Ridley Scott were a baseball player, he'd be hitting about 250, which is pretty good. But he hits home runs. Or strikes out, I guess. Ridley Scott is the Reggie Jackson directors. I hate Reggie Jackson. Oh yeah, um, Blade Runner. So androids, right? And an 80s Daryl Hannah, plus 80s Harrison Ford. It's like a supernova of 80s sexiness. And Rucker Howard's in it. You remember, he's the old man fired by Morgan Freeman at the end of Batman Begins. But here, he's young and he kicks the crap out of a Harrison Ford because he's an android. Harrison Ford could beat him up any day of the week if they're both humans, or both androids. And that's why I don't think Harrison Ford is an android in this film. I mean, he could be, but if he were, then he'd be able to beat up Rutger Howard. Maybe that's why Howard gives that awesome death speech at the end. He knows he can't beat Harrison Ford. By the way, greatest death speech in movie history. They'll all be lost like tears in the rain. I like to say that to people when they ask questions sometimes. It's like you're in a grocery store and someone asks you, where's the produce? And I say, they will all be lost like tears in the rain. Anyways, Harrison Ford's job is to track down these renegade androids who are trying to find their freedom and live out their lives after they realize they're androids and are going to die soon, and the company doesn't want to let them go because they're jerks. So Harrison meets this android chick and thing gets weird, but in the end, all the androids are dead and Harrison Ford and this android chick go off together. Now, if you've only seen the theatrical version, you think that the android chick isn't going to die in like six months, but will live forever or some crap. Not the director's cut, where it's all sad and depressing. Depressing endings are always better. Thank you.